In this tutorial, we're going to talk about AutoCAD's user interface and startup variables. When you start up AutoCAD, you may see a welcome window and you may see a screen that allows you to draw different elements like you see here. What I want you to do is if you don't see the welcome window, I want you to create a startup variable that will allow you to see the welcome window. All right, so if you have the welcome window, sit tight and wait for everybody else to get there. So if you see this screen, which has the drawing area and the commands, what you're going to do is in the command prompt, you're going to type startup and hit enter and then type three. When you first install AutoCAD for the first time when you open it up, the default startup variable is three. So if you're seeing this screen, you're most likely working on it at a school computer or on a computer where somebody has already used AutoCAD and changed the startup variable. All right, so now you need to shut AutoCAD down and uh, start it back up again. All right, so I shut AutoCAD back down and I started it back up again. And this is the welcome window. So when you get AutoCAD running, it may ask you to create an account or sign in if you already have an account. So you would go ahead and do that. You can see that I already uh, created an account and I signed in. So you can see that I have, this is my username and it already says welcome me and has my email address. This allows you to save drawings on the cloud, retrieve drawings from the cloud. You can also save drawings to your flash drive or to the hard drive. That's no problem at all. And this welcome screen shows you your recently created drawings. It also gives you announcements and allows you to open or create a new drawing. So we're going to create a new drawing. So click on the new button here. All right. So before we uh, draw anything, we want to set up our user interface uh, to our liking. And since this book takes you through creating two-dimensional drawings, the first thing we want to do is make sure our workspace is set to two-dimensional drawings. So up here is the quick access toolbar and we want to add a command to that. So click on this customize arrow here and we want to add the workspace pull down menu and this should appear. So if it doesn't say drafting and annotation, you want to get it to there because drafting and annotation is basically two dimensions. Now what this does is it gives you all the commands necessary to draw in two dimensions. The other workspaces that are available are three dimension, the three dimensional basics and three dimensional modeling. I'll just click on that to show you how the commands change. You can see the commands change to allow you to draw three dimensions or 3D modeling. So set it to drafting and annotation. That's where we want it to be. The next thing we want to do is um, I want to change the color. I'm not too fond of dark screens, so I'm going to change it to something lighter. Up here we have the application button. I'm going to click on that and hit options. I'm going to change the display, so click on the display tab, change it from dark to light, and the drawing area, the 2D modeling space, I'm going to change that to white as well. Apply and close, OK, and there we go. 
All right, I like it much better light than dark, but you can choose whatever you prefer. The next thing we want to do to modify the screen area is get rid of this view cube. Uh, this view cube is really good for drawing 3D models because it allows you to see the front, top, right side view, you know, all the sides of your model. But two dimensional drawings don't have sides, so we don't need it. So we're going to go back to the application button and the options. Click on 3D modeling and click off 2D wireframe visual style and get rid of that. All right, next we're going to focus on the status bar. That's down here at the bottom. And we're going to deactivate the grid and the dynamic input. So you can see here, this is the grid. And you'll notice that when you hover over commands, it kind of gives you a description of what they are. So I want to click off the grid. You'll notice that when I click on, the grid is blue. When I click off, it's gray. And then I want to deactivate the dynamic input. Now, if you hover over all of these, you'll notice that nowhere do I have the dynamic input. Now, by default, it's not active. You may have it there already, but I don't. So I'm going to add it by clicking on these three lines, which is the customization. And I'm going to add my dynamic input. All right, so dynamic input is this guy right here. So mine is already deactivated. If yours is blue, click on it and make sure that it's gray. All right, so the status bar is a place for you to go where it holds commands that are often turned on and off frequently. So it's a, it's a nice place for those commands. All right, so now we're going to mess around with the startup variable. Right now it's set to three. So if you start, you know, open up AutoCAD, it'll bring you to that welcome window. We're going to change it to one. So we're going to type in startup, hit enter. We're going to change it to one. What does that do? I'm going to go up to the quick access toolbar and click on new. And it brings up a create new drawing. So instead of the welcome window, we get a create new drawing window. And I'm going to click on start from scratch. And we're going to start a metric drawing. So I'm going to click on metric. If you have imperial, click down to metric. And I'm going to click OK. So now I'm telling AutoCAD, OK, we're doing metric now. So it's, it's primed for metric. And I'm going to go to new drawing again. And now that it knows that we're in metric, we can go through a setup and start a drawing in metric, because it already knows we're in metric. And we're going to do an advanced setup using the wizard and go through some settings. So the decimal places for metric is usually zero. We'll go next, zero for angle, um, east for angle measure, counterclockwise, and we're going to change the width and length of our paper to 297 and 210, which is the closest that we have to a piece of paper in metric size. So we'll go finish. All right, so now we have a metric drawing that's approximately the size of a piece of paper. So let's uh, do some visualization. Let's go to the View tab. And you'll notice that over here where the View cube was, is also a navigation bar. If you don't have the navigation bar, in the View tab, there's a navigation bar command. You can click on that. The navigation bar will disappear, 
or appear. So if you don't have it, you can click on that to make it appear. In the navigation bar, we're going to go to this zoom, click on the arrow, and zoom all. Another way that you can zoom all, which I find is very easy, is to type Z, enter, A, enter. So that zooms everything. All right, I'm going to create a grid so we can visualize our zoom and pan that we're going to do. So grid, and I'm going to make it five millimeters. I'll go back to the navigation bar and I'm going to zoom real time. Take my cursor to the middle, click the left mouse button, and move my mouse up and down. So you can see that it zooms in and out. Go back to the navigation bar, hit the pan, which is the hand, click my left mouse button, move left and right, up and down. Hit the escape button twice to get out of the navigation bar. And now we can do similar things using the wheel on your mouse. So if your mouse has a wheel, you can pan by clicking the wheel on your mouse and moving left and right, up and down. And you can zoom in and out by scrolling your wheel. All right, so let's zoom all. Z, enter, A, enter. Now we're going to save the drawing. So application button, save as, and we're going to save it as a template. So drawing template, DWT, Choose a location. We're going to name it set mm because this will be our setup file for all the metric drawings that we'll be doing. And we'll say save. And we get to describe our template. So this file is a template for millimeter drawings. All right, measurement is metric, and we are good. All right, before I close the drawing, I just want to double check that everything is right. So I'm going to type units. Make sure my units are right. Precision is good. Units are good. So I'll close that down. Limits will give me my paper size. So the first one is lower left corner, right here, that blue dot. So I'll hit enter. That's good, zero, zero. Second one is upper right corner, that blue dot. 297, 210, which is good. Enter. All right. So that is good. We can, up in the quick access toolbar, we can save and exit.